This is Coe Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com or RHPG.org. Today I'm going to do the the last of the new set of videos and I'm going to be flashing a BenQ 360 drive with Clutch's new iPrep 10.7. The first thing of course you need to do is get your iPrep 10.7 and get it installed on your PC. Then we need to load in our BenQ firmware. Which should have taken it straight from the RAR file. I found the 12 time speed, that's what we want to use. I am using a VIA PCI SATA card. The COM port don't matter. Get your USB flash that you're going to boot to. Which that's going to be G. Put a check and format, make bootable. I'll use FAT32, you can use either one. FAT32 does fine for me. And click start. Right now I just want to say thanks to Clutch, Commodore, Caster, all the guys out there that make this possible for us. We all really appreciate it. A new feature on this thing is exit I prep, reboot, shutdown. It's a pretty cool little feature. I always shut down. Once it says all done up here, I always shut down. This Dell does better for some reason booting on a flash when you shut it down. The restart, it don't like doing it. Also right here, I'd like to say thanks to all the beta testers. Clutch put a call out for some beta testers and some good guys come to help out with testing. Sedalius of RobinHoodsPlayground.com He kind of led the group and they did some good testing on this thing. Right now you want to boot up onto your flash, which mine is number seven. This is a little disclaimer. I'm using a CK3 Pro on this thing to power the drive. I never powered the DVD drive with the console itself. Now I'm going to get my SATA hooked up. The power's been hooked up. I hadn't had it turned on. Now the SATA's hooked up. The power's turned on. It's ready to go. It's just a small disclaimer saying you understand the risks. Of course, you should understand the risks if you're doing any of this. So you just hit Y to continue. We're going to be doing a bin queue. So we put in bin and the serial number. You can find that on the back of your console. I've done this one many times, so I'm just going to be using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you type that in, B E N space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and hit enter. Right here, it tells you through the whole thing to leave the BenQ turned on. Don't use a serial cable, a 9 pin cable, or a probe. Through the whole process, remember if it asks, for the Magic 28, say yes. The Unlock, say yes. MTK Vendor, say yes. And Power Cycle the Drive. So we understand it's all yes. We hit the space bar to continue. It says MTK Vendor failed. Would you like to resend the command? We can hit yes. And Power Cycle the Drive. Off on it's reading the four banks you may get a little different result there one of the other unlocks may be what you end up using clutch has put it very straightforward on the screen very little user input just go through exactly what it says, read it. If you have a question, ask on one of the boards, 360 Mods, Robin Hood's Playground. Somebody will help you out with it if it don't go precisely like the video here. All right, at this point, Caster's Firm Tools run. It's pulled the key. It's given us a green success. That means you can go ahead and flash it. We used to tell everybody at this point to stop and reboot and check your key in the backups folder if you're paranoid you certainly can do that if you do that go into that backups folder just cut 
and paste that out of there you want that backups folder empty when you reboot and then start this entire process over dump it again get ready to flash double check your key from before and this key but as long as you've got a green success Castor's firm tool has been rock solid for years if this success is yellow or red you certainly want to stop and figure out what's going on but as long as it's green you should be good to go after you're done then you'll want to make a copy of your backups folder just for safekeeping in case anything ever happens to your drive you'll have your key and your information so right here we're going to hit the space bar press any key to continue it says ensure your drive is turned on it'll now be erased it's normal ours is on are you sure your key is correct as sure as caster's firm tool and i can possibly be so you hit y it'll move on down it says mtk vendor failed do you want to resend the command till the drive responds of course it told us you want to hit yes so we hit y enter off on and now it's erasing the drive right here like the others it tells you now power cycle the drive turn it off turn it on and then hit any key so I'm going to turn the drive off on spacebar and now it's going to write the four banks once you get to your green success it's finished it's flashed you can put it back in the console and test it out once again I just want to say thanks to clutch we all appreciate it man good work